Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Febru Manny continues today with another request. How to paint a white manicure without streaks. White nails are tricky, but I have a few tips to help them look as even, opaque, and beautiful as possible. So I'm gonna start off with bare nails. I filed and shaped them earlier, so we're just gonna jump right into polishing. I'm gonna start with the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Polish in the shade Coconut and paint a thin coat onto all of my nails. You wanna make sure you have just enough product on the brush to paint full wide strokes. By this, I mean fanning the bristles out to cover as much of the nail as you can. The wider the strokes, the less streaky the paint job. You'll notice that I skipped a base coat and I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One, white polish is not going to stain your nails. I would never skip a base coat if I was using a darker color, but I know that my nails will be okay in this scenario. Which brings me to point number two. To avoid a streaky white manicure, I find that three coats of color instead of two is necessary. So eliminating the base coat helps keep the coat count low and prevents the nails from being too thick. This is one of my favorite Sally collections. I love the Insta Dry formulas and their brushes. I think they're very comparable to the Miracle Gel, which is my all time fave. You'll notice that it still looks a tad streaky, but we're still on step one, so I promise we will take care of it. Once each nail is painted and feels dry to the touch, you wanna grab a matte top coat. Yes, I said top coat, but the keyword is matte. This one is from the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel line and it's going to provide a gummy rubber-like base to help our white polish apply more evenly. So you're gonna go ahead and apply a thin coat to each nail. The reason we're applying it to color is because you can't apply it to a bare nail and adding a coat of color instead of a base coat is just gonna help the white really pop. After that layer feels dry to the touch, you're going to go back in with the Coconut Insta Dry Polish and paint the second coat. Now you could opt to stop after this coat, the nails are looking great and the streaks are MIA, but I always feel the need to add an extra coat when it comes to light polishes. So now I'm grabbing Essie's Picket Fence because it's a bit more sheer than the Sally Hansen, so it'll add just enough of a third coat to make this mani picture perfect. Once that has been applied, I'm going to wait until all of the nails are completely dry and then add my top coat. I'm using the INM Out the Door Fast Drying Top Coat per usual. I love this one so much and cannot recommend it enough. I'm applying a generous layer to each nail and capping all of the edges. And that is a wrap on this manicure. You can see that these nails are darn near perfect. They are 100% streak free, completely opaque. And in my opinion, they look pretty awesome. <laughs> Skipping a base coat, adding a matte top coat in the middle and using three coats of color allowed this mani to turn out as great as it did. If you have any other polishes that tend to streak, try this method with them too. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and leave me any comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!